오케이. 좋아요. 녹화되고 있습니다. 오케이. Hi, Kevin. Hello, Benny. How are you? Yeah, wonderful. Great. Great. I know you. That's a, you are one of the best uh, professional in the uh, digital transformation industry. So, Kevin, I got a couple of questions for you. Sure. It's not just a question because I'll be asking you a question too, right? <laughs> discussion. Discussion. Let's put it discussion. Right. Right. <laughs> Great. Great. Um, you know, there's a, these times is uh, so many changes in the pandemic or our lifestyle. And even though there's a business style, their lifestyle is a totally changed, right? Right. And then uh, these times is a, what is a, a mega trend in the in IT industry or whole human lifestyle? Sure, sure. I think rather than put it as IT, uh, information mm -hmm. technology, I just like to put it as a macro uh, macro level of technology change, right? So I like to share a slide. Uh, it's a pretty interesting slide. Um, can you see the slide? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. If you look at this, I uh, put it. I went back about 120 years, right? Back in 1880, electricity, right? I mean, electricity was one of the biggest innovation at that time. And then 1990s, about 100 years later, we call the internet. And now, mm -hmm. 2020, you know, people talk about digital transformation or artificial intelligence. But I want to put this in the macro level context of, but let's look at this whole 120 years uh, spans of technological change, the mega change, right? You know, mm -hmm. electricity, when electricity first came out, it was a buzzword, right? I mean, today, everyone knows it's a necessity. Right, electricity without living without the electricity, you can't even think about it, right? But back in 1880, it actually was a new thing. And sadly, some people even die using electricity. Like, for example, like you know, installing uh, the washing machine. And we, 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 we can't believe it in today's age, right? But that was that, you know, that was so new, that was actually the risky proposition at the time. But after, mm -hmm. after about 50 years later, 1880 to 1930, it became the reality. Everybody started using electricity, just like we're breathing air, right? And after that, another big change has happening in 1990. We call the internet, right? But it took mm -hmm. them about another 25 years for people to really actually utilize the internet just as the electricity back in 1880. Uh, it, it took them about 25 years. Now, People have been talking about this mega change, artificial intelligence or digital transformation. They've been talking about this, you know, lately, like five, six years. And actually, they, this has been, you know, going on. The research has been going on for last, you know, 40, 50 years. But now it looks like it's going to be having big impact on our daily life. Not only our daily life, but the, how enterprise actually conducting their business process, too. So mm -hmm. I think digital transformation is one of the, the latest, the big macro changes is coming to our lives right now. Mm. Kevin, oh, is a, is a really uh, wondering, is a, how is it so fast to change it? Because uh, electricity is showing there's 1880, and then internet 1990 is a gap has a 100 years. But now is a, Internet to the digital transformation is just 30 years. What happening the 100 years and then 30 years? What what big difference? I mean, good question. I mean, I think I think uh, the speed of change is just a, so rapid that you know we don't even know there's changes going around, right? So I think before we know, next couple of years, we will we'll, we'll not treat the word digital transformation as a buzzword. But we'll understand just as you, you and I understand what electricity is, right? Can you think about can you think about living a life, living a day without electricity? Can you think <laughs> about living another day without internet, right? Wow. Those, those are reality, right? So when I, when we when you and I talk about it and say digital transformation, we say, what, what, you know, what, what, what is that? It's one of those things that like everybody talk about it, no one really know what they mean. But the electricity and internet becomes the reality in our life. Just like that, I think digital transformation, that 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 buzzword now 
it will become reality. Like, you know, electricity took them like 50 years before every household has a washing machine or TV. Oh, uh, nice. but, the, but the internet took them about 25 years. Digital transformation, I don't know. I, with, with this, especially with the pandemic 2020, I think it's going to accelerate the, 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 the speed of change. Mm, I see. Oh, yeah. Kevin, very, that's a very interesting subject. Uh, can you uh, let me know more detail about uh, digital transformation? What is yeah. that meaning in our life? Good question. I mean, let's look at this uh, just the definition, right? This is uh, one of the, the digital transformation leading companies, Salesforce, has defined digital transformation, something like this. It says, digital transformation is the process of using digital technology to create new or modify mm -hmm. existing business processes, culture, and customer experiences to meet changing business and marketing market requirement. Uh, well, that you know, to me, if you ask me, I'm, I will put it this way how company is creating value and how those value is being delivered has changed because of the mm -hmm. digital transform uh, digital technology so a lot of people wow. says a lot of people are making mistake and just really focusing on the word digital only or technology only but at the same time a lot of experts looking at this digital transformation and they're saying they sh we should we ought to focusing on the second word, which is the transformation side of it. So again, if you ask me, is through digital technology how enterprise is uh, you know being created value and how those value being delivered has changed. Wow. What do you think, Danny? What do you think? What do you think of that digital transformation to you? I know you're very good at putting those uh, definition in, into one one sentence or a couple of words. Can you tell me what you think it is? Oh, well, it's a digital, I understand the digital. So I using the, you know, Word, Excel, email, sending, receiving. But transformation has a, I thought is a Iron Man. He's a one of his a cartoon movie star. It's a Iron Man. That's the transformation. So yeah, that's a two word is a very exciting and interesting to me. Yeah. Good point. I mean, I mean, that's very interesting how you put it, Iron Man, right? Yeah. Uh, let's just put it Superman, right? Superman. Mm -hmm. So, so if you look at the value of this superhero, like Superman or Batman, Iron Man, mm -hmm. all these people are, uh, you know, delivering heroic acts, right? Saving oh, people, yeah, right, saving right. the world, right? That value hasn't changed. However, through digital transformation. Iron Man now had different digital digital or, or <laughs> different equipment they have. Right. They still the value is still the same. They want to save the world. They want to save people, right? Mm -hmm. Help people, right? But how they do it has changed. Oh, I see. So how value is being created, and how those value is being delivered has changed. Oh, uh, so you mean there is a, a radical value has uh, not changed? There's a pound a foundation. Right. But method is a submission method that have to be changed to the digital transformation. Great way uh -huh. to do it. Yes, I yes, see, great way to do it. Yes, uh, yep. Kevin. Yes. Oh, uh, you know, as you know, there's a, I'm the IT serving, IT service for the corporation level customers. Right. And then I have many of my customers having the uh, struggling how to, you know, uh, preparing the digital new lifestyle so can you uh, guide me the step by step how we can preparing oh yeah, yeah you... sure sure i mean there is different kind of digital transformation according to this one article I, I love this article he broke it down into four different type of the digital transformation business process business model domain and culture uh, organizational changes you know we don't have too much time to go into detail basically business processes through utilizing digital technology the business process has been streamlined. So it's mm -hmm. a lot more efficient and effective and productive through digital mm -hmm. method, right? Business model change. I mean, the, the entire business value creation has changed because of the digital. And domain change is that one of the examples they use is that, you know, Amazon. Amazon was started as a book delivery company, right? <laughs> there, there used to be an oh, e-commerce right. library, a not library, bookstore, right? And, but the now, the, one of the most profitable division of their company is AWS. 
uh, Amazon Web Service, right? right? Yeah. Right. So they're starting from e-commerce selling books, and they're selling everything else, and they also are selling, uh, you know, web service, you know, the cloud services, right? So mm -hmm. we call that domain changes, right? And then cultural organization is, I think, it's one of the most important transformation is that, you know, it's not just about digital technology, but through that, how the company's culture and vision and mission has you know, somewhat changed through that method, right? Uh, impacted mm -hmm. by that. I think those are four different kind of digital transformation. But I want to go to talk about this, you know, um, I mean, I want to refer back to 2019, the article, uh, you and I share about this article before, right? It says about digital transformation is not about technology. Wow. But then what right? is it? It's not a technology, then what is a digital transformation? I think it's just a technology, isn't it? You are right. You're right. I mean, it's, <laughs> the, it's the, one of the easy mistakes we all can make, right? When we talk about IT, technology, we tend to focus on the technology itself, right? But it is not, actually. It's not about the electricity. We don't even feel the electricity anymore, right? There's a wire going around my room now. Uh -huh. We don't think about electricity, right? But what if we just keep on thinking, unless you're an electricity, electricity provider, right? We're not going to be all IT company, right? Mm -hmm. We're just like we're using electricity, but we're not an electricity company, right? right? It change our lives, right? It transform our lives through electricity. Internet has transformed our lives, right? So digital will change, but however, the, we, 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 we should not just focus on the, the first word, which is uh, the, the digital side of it. But what, according to the Harvard Business Review, that what they're saying is we should really focus on second word. Because mm. uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know that we should look at digital transformation as digital transformation, not as just technology. I, I share some of the scary data. Look at this. Uh -huh. If you look at this one, according to that, uh, uh, the 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 review, 2019. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you understand 2019 and 2020 is completely different, right? Right. Wow. Even 2019, one point trillion was invested in DT initiative. The companies, people spent $1.3 trillion. Uh -huh. But according to this, 900 billion failed, didn't work. Oh. It's wow. about 70%. Crazy, right? And people spent that much money onto this and only 30% was a success. And and then this is an, another data that I brought it, uh, you can only really see this, but uh, the reason why transformation and fail mm -hmm. is one of the top reason was lack of clear business objective. So, which means that you know they're basically you know uh, buying digital technology for buying its sake, mm. right? Without understanding why am I buying this? Why do I need this? Right? You, without really thinking about clear business objective, people getting into digital side of it. And I think that's one of the clear path for failure when it comes to digital terms, uh, uh, DT, I'm gonna call it DT initiative. What about, what do you think, Daniel? Wow, so this is a, a unexpected uh, uh, data. So I never think about it. There's uh, so many people, as uh, you show me the uh, fail that digital transformation and losing a lot of money. I never think about that. So wow, some really uh, wonder this. Uh, uh, wow, that's uh, amazing. There is uh, so yes. many money. Yeah, losing the money and energy, is time as like that. Right, right. Wow. I mean, if you step back one step back and look mm -hmm. at the whole changes, right? I mean, it's it's we we, we can't even say. I'm gonna dare to say, you know, it's so it's almost common sense, right? When we buy something, you know, we ought to know why am I buying this. Right. Mm -hmm. Before we invest into something, why am I buying this? And so put it in another word, in I guess professional term, we have to know clear business objective before we starting that business process. Wow. Yeah. Then uh Kevin, I know there's a you're a uh, professional about the DT, digital transformation. Then any way we can, you know, uh success through the digital transformation without, you know, the losing time and energy monies? Can we do it anyway? Great questions. And obviously that, 
you know, this is, uh, you know, you and I uh, been talking about it, talking about it. Uh, you know, again, going back to um, what we've been discussing is that, mm -hmm. you know, digital transformation, I don't think it's a buzzword anymore. It's going to be a reality. It's a matter mm. of time. And this pandemic, uh, I think it just accelerate the speed up, speed up the changes, right? So instead of, I mean, Microsoft CEO says, you know, a uh, uh, thing happened in like three months and where Microsoft was expecting to happen in two years because of the pandemic, right? When the, when the pandemic began. So, I mean, I have to agree with what he says, right? The speed of change is just, uh, has been just exponentially just accelerated, right? Mm. So digital transformation, I think we will understand as a business people or individual, just as you and I understand what is internet is. Back in 1995, everybody talked about internet, right? www. Right. But no one really knew what that means. I mean, I didn't really know. I mean, I heard all this buzzword, internet, website, e-commerce. I really didn't understand until like 2005, right? So digital transformation, I think we'll understand just as we understand internet today. It's a matter of time. It's going to be take five years, 10 years. I don't know. I can't really predict exact uh, year, but it, it's coming. It's actually uh, has arrived quite a bit. So mm. what NK, a next corner of our company, has been discussing is that, you know, how we can actually uh, serve this market uh, better or well, is that going back to the reason why, you know, uh, this digital transformation has been failed. I mean, I showed you, uh, I shared with you in 2019 data. I can only mm. imagine that number of the investment has made in 2020 is probably a lot bigger than $1.3 trillion, right? Wow. And I don't know how much money will be, will be failed. But anyway, so going back to that concept of knowing clear business objective is that we, 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 we think this big three steps that uh, phases we, 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 uh, suggest to, we will suggest to our clients. And this is, uh, I think, the, uh, the, the, a way that we'll recommend uh, to uh, when it comes to digital transformation. Let me try and explain this to you. Just simple three step, understanding. Let's say one company wanted to go through this digital transformation process. Uh, the company has to, management team or leadership team really need to understand what is digital transformation and just knowing you know, what you and I discussed about it, why there's so much failure in digital transformation and really truly understand what it is through education mm -hmm. and training. And after that training, I think we, we have to really, uh, the, the, the company and then, uh, uh, you know, us, NK, uh, you know, really go, need to go through deep uh, and doing research and saying what it is that we're trying to accomplish through digital transformation. I, I'll call it identifying the clear business objective, right? And according to the business objective, they trying to, and now we come in as a, as a, as a, uh, uh, IT expert. Okay, this is what it is that they're trying to accomplish, the business objective. And utilizing this, this kind of technology, it will help them to achieve that ident uh, the business objective. And then we come up with a solution we share with our clients. And after mm -hmm. that, according to that agenda we come up with, you know, we have to think about projection and then all the budgeting and all that kind of stuff too, right? So with that, we will we'll, we'll start implementing or executing according to the clear business objective we identify together and a solution we'll provide to them. Two, three steps. Mm. I see. Wow. Kevin, any, uh, do you have an example for the, you know, three steps, the digital, digital transformation way for? Yeah, yes, so we, actually, uh, we just went through, uh, we went through this, uh, uh, exercise, not exercise, but the uh, projects together with a company um, and a company, I'm going to call it company A. Uh, this company, we met with them and then uh, 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 instantly that, uh, uh, you know, a, 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 the CEO of the company uh, tell us about, because we're IT people and she was uh, asking us about which technology she has to use. So, of course, as an IT expert, you know, of course, especially you, Daniel, we could suggest them with the different tools, right? And you can use this, you can use that. But instead of doing that, we step back and saying, uh, we ask them a question and saying, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? And, and mm -hmm. let us uh, try, to, try to help identify those business objectives. And then we did that together. And according to the business objective we came up with together, we suggest them with a solution and saying, for, to accomplish that business objective, I think this is the best tools, technological tools we can utilize to accomplish it. And so we suggest uh -huh. a solution to them.
I see, I see. Wonderful. So first step, understanding the, what they needed. And the second step for designing consultation and solutions. And third, implement, implementing the hand-on applications. Right. Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you so much, Kevin. So yes, understanding and designing implementation, in, implementing, implementing. So it put it another way. I mean, you, you put it great way, but uh, put it just another way is that first, understand what is digital transformation, right? Mm -hmm. And number two, truly understand what it is that my company are trying to accomplish. We call that business objective. And then according to the business objective, we identify what is the technological solution to help accomplish the business objective. And according mm. to that, start implementing. I see. Okay. Thank you so much, Kevin. So I appreciate your time. And then, wow, I learned this today. It's a lot of things. It's a, I'm so appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it for your help. Oh, thank you for your time. We love talking to each other, right? <laughs> so next time, until next time. Have All a great right. day. See you next time. Right, thank you. Okay.